Hello my lovelies, welcome back, and today I sure do have a lot to talk about. I took a week off after MCM London due to needing a small break after what is an amazing whirlwind experience of meeting you all and selling my artwork, and also socialising, something I'm not very often good at. So I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of you who came by, who bought something, and to those who took the time to have a chat and make my experience at VidFest very special. I also hit 10,000 subscribers on my channel during this, but I will expand upon this later as I have a small giveaway competition to talk to you about. Not everything was sunshiny after MCM though. Due to everything being so chaotic and last minute with the convention, I wasn't able to properly finish on October. And I wish I could show you all of my progress throughout the month, but a lot of pieces got sold. I uh, will show you a brief clip of something I adored doing though. I did two pieces like this, where I later embellished the pieces with embroidery thread and beads. Both went to wonderful homes and I could not be happier. Also, whilst my lovely weekend was happening, my laptop got stolen. <sighs> yep, my studio wasn't properly locked and overnight some thieves went through my neighbours and my own garden and picked apart what they could find. I never thought that our neighbourhood would be robbed, mostly because it's such a sweet and quiet place, but not every place is exempt from thievery, and I feel very silly for being so complacent and letting seven years worth of photoshop files, art scans, sentimental photos and a lot of word documents just disappear. I'm upset, uh, upset with myself mostly, but the good news is they for whatever reason didn't take my lovely DSLR camera away from me and that means I've got more videos to show you. Although life totally burned me out of Inktober, I learned a lot in a short span of time and burned some fuel for what I'm going to do this month. So it is November, I love this month. The build up to Christmas begins and we're in between the beautiful brown, orange and golden leaves falling and the crisp winter nights approaching. Gloves, scarves and big fluffy coats are adorned, colourful gift wrapping and pretty lights are displayed and I'm incredibly excited to experience the last two months of this year. Spending it with my newest family member Squidge and my best friend and partner Tom. I took a lot away from Inktober and the thing that stuck with me over this week has been to diversify my work. And this means doing a lot of landscapes and a lot of backgrounds. I have bought myself two new sketchbooks, a travel set of new watercolours, and as much as I adore the ones I already have, there is no way in hell I can drag it around outside with me. These were listed as the Meaden travel watercolour set, although in my packaging it totally says superior, so maybe they're the same brand and things got mistranslated, but who knows. It came with two watercolour brush pens, sponges, a free standing palette, and the back has a standee. Now, there has been many a time when I've been scrolling through my social media, uh, where I've come across a piece that is truly wonderful and inspiring, and I've always thought, I wish I could do that and the element that always makes them stick out to me the most has been the backgrounds. It pulls a piece together and it immerses you, and I am going to try and expand myself. So my goal for this month is to take this set, my sketchbooks and my observational eye around with me, and I'm going to make some time to sit and paint what I see around me. This won't be a video every week of November, but I want to be able to show you my progress at the end of it. But for now, let's see what I can do in this moment and compare the progress later on. So I've done two photo studies. One was of this misty atmospherical mountains and the other was of a very bright orange landscape. Uh, obviously I won't be able to find that outside where I live now, so I figured I'd bring it to the studio. I'm learning to be patient in my painting. Watercolour landscapes take time. You've got to wait for the paint to dry, you've got to layer it, and you've got to really think wisely and fluidly at the same time when you're doing a piece. Something I discovered quite quickly when things started blending into each other. 
So I'm sure I'll learn new techniques as I go along, but for now I'm going with what I know. So I have taped around the painting, so when I pull that off there's a nice crisp edge around it. I have also already got all my colours together, so I'm using a very washed down black and blue colour. Uh, although the paint, the picture itself isn't like that, I figured I would add a bit more of a hue to it, just to make it a bit more interesting. And the other thing I have done is already put down my background, although it did come out a little bit too light. And you'll see me doing this with the second image that I will be recreating. Uh, it's all about mapping out what you would like to do and finding what works for you best. Now with watercolour it usually lightens up once it's dried, so that's one mistake I made with this piece I think. I think the background should have been more pigmented, but hey ho, you live and you learn. I would also like to know if you guys are interested in this sort of thing. I know it's not my usual mythical ladies that I'm painting, but I will be taking a camera out and going around and drawing and filming myself uh, doing what I want to improve on. Um, I obviously won't show that if you're, if you're not interested, so I'd really like to know if you would be. It's all a learning process and once again it could be quite boring because you are watching me relearn fundamentals, but I figured it would just be interesting anyway to look back on it. So I'd love your input if you would like to see more of this kind of thing. Now you can see me going in between both uh, landscape watercolours just because I was waiting for things to dry and I am not the most patient person in the world and I also like to multitask. Uh, so every time one would dry I would do that piece and then wait for the other bit to dry, vice versa, vice versa. I really like this one the most I think. When the paints were being laid down they looked very bright and vivid but in the end they kind of watered out so that's another thing. I will have to be keeping an eye on. But I also really enjoyed doing this moody piece because it's all about shapes and silhouettes and it's very like minimalist, but I think it's kind of moody and atmospheric in a way. I will include the original photos in the description so you can see and compare what they actually look like in comparison to my very, very basic watercolour landscapes. Honestly, as scared as I was to start this project for myself, now that I've completed these two landscapes I am so excited to do more and I feel a lot more confident. It's all about training your eye to see shapes and colours and the thing is with art it doesn't always have to be a carbon copy. I think you have to inject yourself into the art as well. Um, that may not be so good of a thing to do when you're learning how to do fundamentals again, but I think it's the only way you're going to enjoy learning the fundamentals again. And I hope that I can carry what I've learned this month on with me and put lots of mystical ladies in mystical backgrounds. I really enjoyed this. I know it seems a bit basic and very simple, but I think that's a good place to start. and. It may not look like anything now, but it might do at the end of the month or at the start of December. I'm really excited to see where this is going to take me. Also, there is nothing better than peeling off this tape and seeing the crisp edge. It's probably one of my favourite things I experience when I do art of any kind with this tape. God, I love that washi tape. Uh, also, I just wanted to say, if you enjoy this kind of thing, I really recommend the YouTube channel The Art of Aaron Blaze. I hope I'm saying that right. He's so wonderful. He worked for Disney for the longest time and now he just showcases his work and does tutorials. And it's probably the most calming and interesting things I've seen in a long, long while. So yeah, there's my finished piece. Hello guys! 
Thank you for watching the video and I just want to tell you about my 10,000 subscriber giveaway. I will be announcing the winners at the end of the month and I will be giving away free prizes. So the third runner up will have these two prints and they'll both be signed. Uh, the second runner up will get two of these A5 prints also signed. And the first winner, the winner who I select at random, will be given a free, like, postcard sized original, whether you want it to be kind of a photo of you or your cat or your friend or whatever you like, any fan art, or whether you'd like a surprise original, that can be done. So it's just to give back and say thank you so much for 10,000 subscribers. How you do this is, once this video is uploaded, go onto my Twitter, which is twitter.com slash magicianbell, and retweet the video. And at the end of the month, I'll select three people at random to send off these things to. Now, I don't, I can't guarantee it will get to you before Christmas, but it might be with you by the end of the year. God knows how postage works anymore. And I will be shipping everywhere. So if you're a winner from the UK, that's great. If you're from the US, the Netherlands, Australia, anywhere, Spain, then that will also be sent off to you. It's totally international. And I just wanted to give back and say thank you to you guys. So thank you so much for watching my videos, for subscribing, for leaving lovely comments and supporting me as an artist. So thank you guys and I will see you next week.